Welcome to Super Simple Sape. We make super simple things for busy families like us. Today, we are going to make a dinosaur cake. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you will know when our videos come out. The things you need are flour, baking powder, sugar, salt, cocoa powder, baking soda, evaporated milk, vanilla, and egg. So, so let's start. start. First, sift all your dry ingredients together. Now your cocoa powder. The cocoa powder had a lot of lumps. Now let's add the sugar. Let's add the baking powder. Then the baking soda and salt. Now mix it with a spatula. Then you crack three eggs. This one is kind of hard to crack. Now the second one. Now add your eggs one at a time to your dry ingredients. First egg. Now mix it and mix it all together. Then add the second egg. Be careful. Throw over. There you go. And mix it again. Then add the last egg. You can use a spatula to scrape it. And then mix all of it together. Now let's use the electric mixer for this. If you don't have an electric mixer, you can still mix it by hand. Now alternately add the milk and the oil. We're using coconut oil here, so it's a bit lumpy. It's lumpy when it's cold. It will melt and blend well when you add the hot water, but any vegetable oil is okay to use. Then I added a little bit of the milk. Then I added the oil again. So it's alternating. You have to be patient doing this. Don't forget to scrape the sides. Now add the vanilla. Then add the boiling water. Be very careful with the hot water. Now mix it some more. Bake it for 30 minutes until the toothpick comes out clean. Now it's time to make our dinosaurs using fondant. You do not have to make them. You can get them at the store, but we decided to make them. Hi, can I join you? Sure. <laughs> I like working with fondant because it's like Play-Doh. <laughs> I'm making a triceratops with orange fondant. I started by forming the head then the body. Then I make four tiny legs. It will take some trial and error until you get the right shape. Then attach them, the body and the head, with a toothpick. Then attach the legs using water as glue. Let it dry for at least one to two hours. Then we added the eyes and the horns later. We were not able to take a video of it while we were making it. I am making a sauropod. These dinosaurs are vegetarians. To make it easier, I made just a part of the head, a part of the body, and the part of the tail. I also added some black spots and a tiny bow on the head. I'm making a silly dinosaur. Just kidding. I made a tree. I just stacked leaves on there. And you can do that too. Now the cake is nice and cool. We leveled it and it's time to frost it. Now it's time to frost the cake. You can use any chocolate frosting you like.
Then put the second layer on top. Make sure the bottom part is at the top. Then slice a small portion of the top layer. This will be the waterfall later on. And then you frost it. Then frost the sides. Then use a big spatula to level it. Now the cake's all frosted. Now put it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. Now let's add some green grass around the cake using tip number 233. Then use blue frosting to create a waterfall. Just frost the sections with the tip going down so it looks like it's a cascading. You can gently and lightly blend it later with a knife. We also added a little bit of white frosting on the waterfall to make it look like bubbles. Also add green grass around the top layer of the cake. Now it's time to put the dinosaurs. Now let's put some pebbles and rocks around it. We used soft chocolate candy and gray fondant to make rocks. Oh my goodness, it's finished! Almost. Can I help put one rock on? Sure. I already have one. <laughs> <laughs> the cake is done! Thank you for watching Super Simple Slap Hack. If you like this video, <laughs> please comment and like <laughs> and subscribe. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you will know when our videos come out. <laughs>